Happy Friday, everyone. This is some hope for today. Uh, there's a, 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 an event that happens in the book of Mark in chapter 4, uh, Mark 4, 38, where Jesus instructs his disciples to go to the other side of the lake, to, to, for all of them to get into a boat and go to the other side of the lake. And on the other side of the lake, as you'll read further on in Mark chapter 5 of the different events that happened there and Jesus casting out a demon from a man and, and how that affects so many people. But before that, it's Jesus instructs his disciples to go to the other side through the lake of, uh, of Galilee. And in the middle of the lake, they experience a storm. And this storm is so violent that the disciples think that they're going to drown. In fact, they wake Jesus up and say, Jesus, Jesus, don't you care that we're drowning? And Jesus gets up and he calms the, the wind and the waves and the storm stops. The interesting thing about this is this, that this... It's not that the storm happened. Those disciples would have ex expected such a thing to happen. In fact, many of them were fishermen, so they encountered many storms. But the thing that's interesting is that the storm happened even when Jesus was with them. See, many times we think that if we just follow Jesus, then everything will be okay. That if we just do all the right things, then we won't have any problems. But we don't see that in Scripture. See, Jesus doesn't promise a life of comfort. He promises a life filled with his presence. And with this presence comes a peace that passes all understanding. Here's the thing. We all experience our storms, some greater than others, but nonetheless, we can know that in the midst of our biggest problems, our Savior is with us. And we can trust that in the midst of the storm, he is with us and he's working through it to reveal himself in ways we've never experienced before.